Hi guys, my new project is going to be Napoleon War, Napoleonics, Black Powder, Napoleon's campaign into Russia. And to be specific, the Battle of Borodino, 1812. So this is the project that I have been working on in secret. Uh, I didn't want to reveal anything until I actually had something to show. It's just easy to just uh, wave around a little box of miniatures and say you're going to start a project and then you never finish. So uh, this is what I've done so far. I've got those two starter box from Warlord Games. Uh, one of the Russian starter box and one of the French uh, starter box. So you can see some of the French I've started to paint here on the right. And I added even some more to the armies. So let's take a closer look guys. Napoleon's campaign into Russia. Battle of Borodino. The entire uh, Russian starter set from Warlord Games I have painted up. As you can see in front of you guys. And I also added some extra figures to this set. So let me go through what we have here. Uh, the Russians and also some of the French I've actually started to paint up. I will show you guys those later on. But let's start with the Russians here. So the starter set from Warlord Games. Um, in the back I added a couple of cannons. So, to the Russian army I added some extra, and for that is uh, three 12-pounder cannons. And those are in metal and are from Warlord Games. One thing I noticed is uh, there's a lack of different variation in the poses from the crew for all the artillery from Warlord Games, Russian artillery. But, whatever, I like them, they are nice, and as I want to do Borodino, I needed uh, some artillery for the redoubts, for the Russians. So in the back line, we have the artillery, and we have some line infantry. And these are line infantry that you get in the starter set from Warlord Games, the big box. They are in plastic. So line infantry. Also you get this commander in the starter set. In metal too. And then we have the famous Pavlovsky's Grenadier that I painted up. Also some fusiliers. You're getting uh, those metal heads. And uh, I will show you guys those fusiliers. Or is it grenadiers? And these ones are fusiliers, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the grenadiers has those white pom-poms. Or is it Grenadiers too. I think it's uh, Russian Fusiliers. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in this. As you can see, they are a bit muddy. They've been on a long walk before they get into the battlefield or they just getting into the mud and blood. And for that, I used uh, some of the paints from Green Stuff Earth liquid pigments to, to get those dirt stain on on the boots and pants As you can see uh, these are the kinds of uh, liquid colors of dirt you can get in this box here then i added an extra box of Paris miniatures russian infantry 
So these are Russian line infantry. Gonna need a lot of bodies to throw in the meat grinder if it's going to be Battle of Borodino. Also I added some uh, Russian commanders and these are in metal and are from Perry Miniatures. Uh, so let's take a closer look at these ones. Yeah, commanders from Perry Miniatures, Russian commanders. And here we have Onward to Glory! Or how you would say that in Russian, I don't know, but... <laughs> And this guy is in a hurry. Nice little commander here. Lovely to paint. Look at the panic in the horse's eye. So, as I mentioned, I added a box of Perry miniatures. So, the, these on the right side here are Perry miniatures, and these on the left side here are the figures from Warlord Games that you get in the big uh, starter set. So, my favorites are the Perry miniatures. Maybe it's a different kind of taste, what you like, but these are my favorites. Why? Because I think the Warlord Games uh, have a little bit of a big head mode on these uh, figures. Otherwise, they are very nice and there's nothing wrong with them. They're great, both of them, but my favorites are the Perry miniatures. So we're getting more Perry miniatures to this Russian army. Also, I will do a little painting video on how I paint Russian line infantry. And the French! I just started to paint up the French, so this is the only French that I have been painting up so far. So. These are from the Warlord uh, starter box. I think it's the B B Waterloo box. So here we have some grenadiers and just some basic line infantry here in the center. And I had a little problem uh, with this French, uh, let's say the entire area of Napoleonics, because the uniforms are very fancy and such so there's a lot of things to paint on the figures and I forgot some things for example the elite uh, is it the yeah, elite companies the flank companies the grenadiers and is yeah the voltigeers so trial and error I learned that the light companies should have sabers as you can see i forgot to add sabers on some of those figures and yeah these are correct i guess i can see this is a line infantry with the saber so let's just say this guy had a nice evening with his friends in the camp playing dice and the grenadier got very drunk and lost his saber in a nice game of dice so he won himself a saber that will be useful on the next day's battle <laughs> yeah so this is my little project or is it little I don't know but at least I wanted to show guys uh, what I've done so far. So, hopefully I can get a game when I painted up some more French and do, let's say, a skirmish at the Borodino. So, thank you guys for watching and I will keep you guys updated on uh, progress on all my other projects and such. There's always something to paint and um, take care guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.